Gardner and his wife here with us today. And this is all about your choice of Glendara art. It is going to be a framed piece of artwork that is limited in edition because there are only 2,000 per print, just to let you know. Each one is individually signed by the artist. Each one you will receive a certificate of authenticity. And you don't even need to worry about framing it because it already framed in a pine frame and it's double matted under glass. But those are just really the specs. The reality is, is that you will have a full on piece of artwork delivered right to your door that has the heart of Ireland coming home to you. So I want to introduce you to Anne Malone, Anne Mooney, uh, Maloney. Maloney. Thank you so much. Nice to see you so this morning. To be here. I'm thrilled Thrill. to be here with you. Oh, we're, we're, we're both thrilled. To so be here. Anne is here see. and she is uh, married to the painter. Yes. And I do want to show you choices and then we uh, are going to meet the painter and see him paint a little bit. Absolutely. So are you able to see? Um, um, we'll start start with, what have we got here? This one. The West of Ireland. Okay, the West of Ireland. And this one is your, are you able to see? Hmm, where? Can you see that there? Yeah, I'm gonna hold this up here and describe for us what we're looking at the West of the Ireland. The West of Ireland is, um, I think, a very atmospheric painting. Tim captures the colors, the moods of the West. Here we have um, the beautiful, we call it the Irish roadblock. Mm. We've got the sheep crossing the, <laughs> the sheep crossing the road, <laughs> and they've got their individual marking. You can see the red on the back of their. Um, They're behind. <laughs> I yes. love it, and, <laughs> and it's absolutely. Um, amazing piece of work. In the front now we have yes. Bunratty Castle. This isn't very far from where we live in County Clare, again on the west coast. Bunratty Castle was a, a Viking castle and owned by the O'Briens eventually. When you come to Ireland, and I hope you all do come and visit us, this is where you go for a medieval banquet. Ah, these are customer top rated, I want you to know, and it's the first day that we have them on three easy payments of $19.83. And then we also have this choice. This one here is a new one now, exclusive to QVC. It's called Welcome Home, Quiet Man. Mm. This, to me, tells the story of the Irish and American people. We had to send our people to America to make good their way. And this is a story of Sean Thornton coming home to White O'Morn, where he reclaims his mother's cottage and builds it back up with the roses around the door. You can see John Thor or Sean Thornton, who was played by John Wayne and the iconic Quiet Man Philip. Ah. And he's on the Quiet Man Bridge there, and he's looking over at his mother's home. <gasps> and that, to me, is the American Irish story. Oh, I love that. Were you listening? Were you listening? I hope you were listening. We even have two more choices over here. So we're going to continue this on. This one here now is um, the Connemara Fisherman. Mm. Bear in mind that those mountains, those rocks, th that lake has been there forever. <gasps> your fathers, your forefathers all fished in that lake. And to me, we live busy lives enough. Mm -hmm. I, when I want to de-stress. I just sit myself on that rock in front of the lake and just breathe in the absolute atmosphere that Tim has created for us with the colors, the tones, the textures of the west of Ireland. That's extraordinary. Remember, each one of these, uh, and by the way, the fisherman is the one that's very, very limited. We're going to go to the final one here, and the final one is your... Homeward Bound. Here we have, we'll call him Paddy, being the day that we're young. Paddy is heading home after a day's work. This is such a earthy painting. Mm. I think he captures the mist that falls in our faces in the west of Ireland. We have rain, but we love our mist. He's going up through the bog with the turf. Mm. You can see his home, the cottage up ahead, mm -hmm. and his tea awaits because there's smoke coming out. He's thinking of his day's work. He's in tune with nature. The heather, the calmness, the earthiness of this painting is the essence of the West of Ireland. Oh, just I think they're, it's they're absolutely gorgeous. Can I just share with you that the quiet man, this one, um, welcome home, quiet welcome man. home, quiet man is very, very popular right now. We only have 200 more to go around. And remember that these are all limited edition prints. Yes. There are only 2000 prints created of each one. And then that's it done, gone. And each one is signed by Tim and we're going to, um, 
take a take a shot of him because he's actually in the studio. Would you like to introduce your husband, please? Do. I would be absolutely honored to introduce my please. beautiful husband, Tim. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting there and he's painting. Do you want to share with us a little bit about what's going on? Uh, Go ahead. So, oh, sorry. He's um, the cliffs of Moor. Actually, I think he's painting at the moment, which are the highest cliffs on the west coast of Ireland, the highest cliffs in in Europe. Um, Tim, do you have some words to add, sir? Oh yes, uh, the all the west of Ireland, the natural beauty of the west of Ireland has always inspired me. And uh, you know, you have the majestic mountains and the breathtaking seascapes. So I love painting in the west of Ireland. Uh, it's always a challenge just to capture the, I should say, the ever-changing light that comes through in the west. And uh, I'm also inspired by uh, characters in the landscape. I think they, the, especially the older characters, they have uh, a great affinity and an understanding of the land. And when you paint them in the landscape, they really complement it, I think. Ah, how long have you been painting? Oh, I've been painting since the mid 80s. Oh, since the mid 80s, yes. wow. These are beautiful. And so you make each one of these and um, then there's a limited edition, 2000. A limited edition of 2000, Of, of yes. the prints. And uh, I know we just walked through the different paintings that you have to offer, but can you give us some artist insight? Like, what were you thinking when you were painting this one? Well, when I was painting that one, I think the, the lovely, rugged landscape and the, the sheep were kind of the masters of the landscape <laughs> there. Sure. <laughs> they're blocking the road. They're blocking the road and you, you don't disturb them. Uh, they're part of the landscape and part of nature mm. and they hold sway right there in that scene and you just sit back, enjoy them until they move until on they and move. then you can move yeah. on. Oh, I love that one. Uh, Can I just share with you that I, I need to let you know an update. So um, Welcome Home Quiet Man has actually sold out. So congratulations to everyone who picked up that one. If you want The Fisherman, um, which is this one, uh, I know we'll go close up on it. There are two dozen remaining. And since we're, this is going quickly, Tim, what were you thinking about when you created The Fisherman? The, the majestic mountains really drew me to that scene mm -hmm. and uh, I like fishing myself <laughs> and I, I, have, uh, I have experienced the solitude when you're out in the water mm. and just, uh, uh, I think, relaxation, you know, mm -hmm. and I just tried to blend the colours and nothing, everything was kind of geared towards having a relaxing sort of painting. And this one now has actually um, sold out as well. It is gorgeous and amazing. Each one of these, there's such atmosphere yes, in each yeah. one of them. Like I feel like I want rolling mist or bright sunshine or to smell the flowers with each individual uh, painting and print that we're looking at. How about this one? Well, the Homeward Bound, mm -hmm. again, Homeward having grown bound. up in the west of Ireland in the 50s, oh. I, I worked on a farm and uh, I would have experienced the turf cutting and the bringing home of the turf. And it was a kind of a ritual and a, like, almost like a pilgrimage in itself, uh, that there was a time mm. set aside for cutting the turf, for then saving it, and then for bringing it home. And it was a kind of a celebration uh, when the season's work was done. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I think a lot of the, the, the characters, they would be in my mind from the older characters. Uh, this, this, was, this was so much part of their, of their lives. Oh, well, let me give you an, thank you so much, Tim. I love having the artists here. Let me give you an update on what's going on. So at the beginning of our pre presentation, we had 1,700 to go around. If you want um, Bunratty Castle, which is the one up front, um, we only have 200 remaining in this one. Um, when it comes to Homeward Bound, which is, I'm gonna pull this over, um, 200 remaining, so 200, 200 so far. Mm -hmm. And then west of Ireland, we have 300. But um, can I just say the west of Ireland makes me smile? Yeah. It totally tickles <laughs> me. Because smiles. if anyone's ever had a traffic jam, <laughs>
<laughs> I'm in love with it. Um, thank you so much, thank Anne Maloney. You. It's Please, been a pleasure. It's been our Tim, pleasure. Mwah, it's been an honor. Thank you so much. H1980. H1989070 is your item number. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. We saw these earrings earlier. I'm actually wearing these earrings, and we're down to our final. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh no, two dozen! We knew these were gonna sell out. We're down to our final two dozen, which is four easy payments of $34.88. Um, this It's 3.6 carats total of Peridot. We're looking at 1.8 carats an ear, trillion cut and a square cut. They're extraordinary. And sterling silver, uh, truly exquisite earrings. J334248 is your item number.